Hello, thank you for clicking on the link to watch this video. It focuses on applying payroll burden to jobs. So here is my estimate. I'm actually going to show a quick change order too because I forgot to add the flood labor to this estimate. So I'm going to go ahead and add flood labor and we could put the amount or the cost to me. We'll say it's, I don't know, about 600 bucks. So we're budgeting now, budget $500 in cost for flood labor. And then of course a markup, uh, I think we're doing what, 15 percent? So 575. So when I click Save and Close, you know, it's going to tell me about the progress invoice. Do I want to continue? Yes. And then if I want to add a change order, and here's where I click Add, the change order window. And you can type in here. This is typeable or editable. Put in your messaging if you want. and puts on the body of the actual estimate, you know, the change order. So I know what happened. So I added flood labor. Now, why this matters is that for payroll, I do want to um, apply it, the payroll board burden or cost, to me, to the job. So when I go to my edit preferences in payroll and employees, uh, you have job costing class and item tracking for paycheck expenses. I'm assigning one class per entire paycheck, or you could do per earnings item if you want, but in my case, I'm doing uh, for entire paycheck. You know, and maybe you might want to do earnings item, earning items if they have different you know, hourly wages based on the work they're doing, if you will. But this is just flood labor. I'm going to do the entire paycheck. So. And it'll apply that across the entire paycheck and break it down. Okay, so that's the estimate. Uh, here is my estimate versus actual uh, cost, flood labor. There it is, and no actual cost yet. So I want to get that on here by when I cut a paycheck. So I'm going to the payroll center. Now I have applied time uh, for, um, I believe Greg Schneider is the one applied time. If I go to reports, jobs time and mileage, time by name, and so here's Greg. So it's for Nicholas. So he did 40 hours. Okay. And notice on these time, uh, I did a weekly timesheet, but when you click on each, each one, it brings you to a single, single time activity for that day. Either way, same kind of thing. I did not check to make it billable. I don't want to pass this through to an invoice. Remember, big, big discussion here in these last videos. You know, are you just doing it for reports, for kind of complete contracting or job costing method versus just reimbursed expenses, right? So, or time and expense. So, I'm not passing it through to an invoice. Nicola's already uh, agreed to pay this certain amount and she signed off on the change order, et cetera. So, not checking the box for billable, but I am assigning these hours to the particular job and the service item. So, when I go in to cut a paycheck, and I'm going to uncheck all and we'll just focus on Greg here. Click continue. You can see the 40 hours that came over and I can open the paycheck details. And here's even the workers comp code, but there's the job and the flood labor service item. Okay, so when I click save and close and I create the paycheck, that cost, which is $17.25 an hour for those per those 40 hours, um, if I look at the estimate versus actual, okay, a little blur about view my paycheck, very effective uh, add-on. Uh, now we'll see for the flood labor, it's actually $790.41, and I am over right, $290.41. So that's how you apply you know, labor burden or payroll burden to jobs and how it affects you. And you can also even look at it on a profit and loss by job, if you will, if I filter uh, for Nicola. This particular job. And then I can see the payroll expenses uh, cost to me. So I hope that was helpful and you guys have uh, a great day there.